Hi, my name is Peter. I am a software field applications engineer at Multitech. Today we will demonstrate using the ARM Embed online compiler to compile code for the Multitech M. Dot and X. Dot LoRa endpoints. You only need an internet connection on your PC and a web browser to use Embed, but to run the examples you will need a LoRa network available for your DOT to connect to. This could either be a public LoRa network or a network on a local conduit. Configuring a LoRa server on the multi-connect conduit is the subject of another video. Open a web browser and go to developer.embed.org. Click the login slash sign up button and then the sign up button to register a new account. An account is required for the online compiler. After completing the sign up process, log in. Before we can compile code, we must add a board to the compiler. Mouse over the Hardware button, then click the Boards link. On the left, look for the Platform Vendor heading, then click the Multitech checkbox. Now click the image for either the M. Dot or X. Dot to go to the appropriate platform page for the device. You may want to bookmark this page as you will be referring back to it during development regularly. On the right side of the page, find the Add to your Embed Compiler button. Click it and you will be taken to the Embed Compiler page. Form the selection and then close the dialog. Now that the compiler is configured, we can add some code. We will use an example project called dot examples. Go back to the platform page for your dot and find the example programs header. In the dot examples box, click the import program button. Confirm the import into your compiler. While you now have a program, you still need to add the dot library itself. The M. Dot and X. Dot have their own unique libraries to import, but the API functions are the same. Go back to the platform page and find the LoRa stack entry. Scroll down and find the import library button for libm.embed5 or, or libx.embed5 as appropriate. Make sure that the program you just imported is selected, then complete the import. Now look in the program workspace and you should see the dot examples project with three folders. Examples libm.embed5 or libx.embed5 and embed OS. Before compiling code using the library, we need to check that the embed OS version matches the library. To do so, click the libm.embed5 or libx.embed5 entry, then click the revision button. Note the version of Embed OS in the comment field. Now to select the correct Embed OS version, click Embed OS in the program workspace and select the appropriate revision. Then click the switch button. Now expand the examples directory and select example config.h. 
This is where you select which of the several examples you will use. You can leave it at the default of OTA example. To set the LoRa network settings, expand the SRC folder, then select OTA example.cpp. Set the network name and passphrase or ID and key as appropriate for your network. Then make sure your frequency subband matches the settings of your LoRa network. If you are using a public network and the subband is not specified, set the frequency subband to 1. Set the public network variable to true or false to match your network. If you're using a network ID and key pair, you'll need to change another line of code. Find the line starting with the function update OTA config name phrase. Comment it out and uncomment the following line starting with update OTA config ID key. Now you're ready to compile. Click the Save button to save your changes to the file, then click Compile. Compilation is successful, you will be prompted to download a .bin file. If you see link or failure messages, confirm that you have selected the correct platform and have the correct version of the LoRa stack for your platform. Now plug in the development board. After some driver installs, you will see a new drive labeled either Multitech or XDOT. To program the device, copy the bin file from the embed compiler to the drive. When the transfer is complete, the programming process is complete. Press reset on the development board and the program will start to run. To see debug information, we need to first install the appropriate serial driver. For Windows, this is the STLink V2 USB driver available from ST Microelectronics. After installing that driver package, a STLink debug serial device will install. For operating systems other than Windows, no driver installation is necessary. Open a serial terminal of your choosing, then use 115.200 as the baud rate and open the debug serial port. You should see the debug output from the program you compiled indicating either the successful or failed join. If you see a join failure, double check that the entries in your embed program match the LoRa network. Today we demonstrated creating an embed account, configuring the compiler, importing a project, and using the multi-tech LoRa stack. Thank you for watching.